Hey, what's up everyone? This is Shinobi123 and I'm going to do a video for um, the latest emulator, uh, video game emulator in the market. It's called uh, Droid Gear. It's an emulator for um, Game Gear or Sega Master System. And um, yeah, you can look, at, look for it in the market. It has this, uh, so this Sonic the Hedgehog face. Um, it just came out. Here's the startup screen. Um, it's really slow right now, so let's hope it gets better. Um, there already have been some updates. Um, when I first downloaded it, this screen wasn't even here. But anyway, you can you can start out with this. I think you need to go and ha make sure you have... I think it's... Um, let's see. I.O. Oh, or sorry, OI File Manager. Look for it. Look for that in the marketplace because I'm pretty sure you need to have that downloaded to be able to download or to be able to ha basically install the ROMs under the game. So you go to Start Game, hit Menu, go to Add ROM, and that should open up um, the IO File Manager or OI. Sorry, and then I, I made a folder. I put my games in a folder. Then you select it. And it will add it. It'll add it to the list. So um, here I'll show you Sonic the Hedgehog. They added the screen rotation. So a little, I think it's a little weird. Is there you go? I think if you, you know, if you tilt it the wrong way, it flips it. So that could cause a problem if you're playing and you move the screen, but. Again, this is super slow. Um, here, let's start it out, and you can see. But I guess it's um, open source, so I guess hopefully people will contribute and help with the speed. Yeah, waiting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no sound. Um, the controls are the same as uh, like Kid Game Boy, Kid Kid GBC, or the the Nintendo emulator. A, W, S, and D. A is left, S is down, D is right, W is up. So, uh, and then. K and L are, I think on the Game Gear it was like buttons 1 and 2, I think that's what they were calling them. And I guess with just like the other emulators, I guess there's no sound. I don't think um, it's allowed, basically. Hopefully I can say not allowed yet. But, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to end this pretty soon. <laughs> It's torturous, I know. Um, but yeah, there you go. So I know there was problems, at least in the beginning, people trying to figure out how to play it, but or how to you know load the ROMs. But that's typical, I guess, for emulators. But yeah, the big thing is to have that OI file manager downloaded for the market, and then if you do have ROMs on your SD card, then you should be able to load them. So, alright, yep, that's it. Um, subscribe, post, comment. This is Shinobi123. See ya.